Hello, uh, firstly to introduce myself, I'm Jack Maguire, Chief Executive with Meath County Council. Um, and as you all know, the issue of housing and homelessness is an ongoing challenge nationally and one that this council has prioritised over the recent years. Despite our offices being closed to the public during this current period of restrictions, many of our housing services continue to operate by phone and by post. The COVID-19 situation has also required us to do more to protect those that are homeless uh, and to provide others in the community with additional assistance at this particular time. Since the start of the restrictions, our homeless team have placed a total of 34 households, including five families, in emergency accommodation. We also have assisted and supported a further 13 households at risk of homelessness to source new rented accommodation. While at the same time, our emergency out of hours number is always available when an accommodation needs arises due to a particular emergency, as a, perhaps a, a flood or fire or so on. We continue to work with other agencies, such as the Simon Community uh, and the Peter McVerry Trust, to provide a comprehensive wraparound service so that we can put in place a longer lasting solution to the very complex needs of our homeless clients. More specifically, during the current crisis, we have been proactive in addressing the additional needs of the homeless and the vulnerable groups in our communities and have developed clear processes in line with the medical advice which one of the housing team will now outline for you. To support those already in emergency accommodation, we have ensured that no homeless person is in a shared room and that all are in single room occupation to minimise the spread of the virus. We have made available a total of 67 isolation beds in 34 properties, such as this one in Navan. These are available to homeless clients, members of the travel community and clients of Mead Women's Refuge if they need to self-isolate. We are working with other bodies to make this happen, while the Mead Civil Defence is assisting with the transportation of people who require the beds and ensuring that they receive food supplies while in isolation. We are also working directly with the Mead Women's Refuge in providing three kitted out units for victims of domestic violence, which have become available through TUA Housing Association. This is obviously a very difficult time for the victims of domestic abuse and the Council is proud to be working with the Refuge so that it can continue to provide crisis accommodation to victims at this time. In terms of the traveller community, we have implemented additional measures to lessen the risk of COVID-19 infection. Eight temporary toilet and wash basin units have been installed in St. Patrick's Park halting site in Navan. The Council has established a committee specifically to liaise with the residents and work with them to provide more long-term solutions to their housing needs. Many of our existing tenants have experienced financial difficulty at this time. Because of this, we are prioritising rent reviews to ensure that the rents we charge reflects our tenants' reduced level of income. We have also identified over 340 local authority households with tenants who are over 70 years of age and are within the cocooning category. Our team is making contact with these households to inform them of the community supports available to them and we liaise with the community guardee where additional support is required for vulnerable individuals. In terms of housing assistance payments, we have continued working throughout the present restrictions to ensure that valid applications are processed and that landlords receive payments so that applicants can continue to avail of HAP properties. So you will have heard that a lot of work has been undertaken by the Council over the past number of weeks to meet the housing needs of the most vulnerable during this particular crisis. We wish to thank in particular again our partners helping us to deliver our services and we look forward to continuing to provide sustainable and safe housing solutions for the communities of County Meath into the future. So thank you for listening. Continue to stay safe. Um, thank you.